Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see a new question on array. So basically our question is that we are given an array. Now we need to segregate the odd and even numbers in the given array, right? So how we need to segregate that first of all, all the even numbers should be there and after that all odd numbers should be there, right? Now ordering doesn't matter here. So it means it could be in any order, but just that we need to segregate. It means first of all, we should have all the even numbers. Then we should have all the odd numbers. If you want, then you can have first odd number, then you can have even numbers. So as per your requirement, you can do, right? It means if you need to segregate, so the one way could be that first of all, we want all the even numbers. It means it could be two, uh, then, so what are the even numbers we have? This is even number, this is, this is, and this is. So it could be two, eight, six, four, this could be number. So first of all, all the even numbers, then odd numbers. So what are the odd numbers left? We have one, three, seven, right? Now, don't focus on the order, right? Order could be anything. It's just that we need to segregate. So if someone says, which are the odd numbers? We can say, okay, these are the odd numbers and which are the even numbers? These are the even numbers. So it means all the even numbers are in one block and all the odd numbers are in one block, right? So this is our problem uh, that we need to segregate odd and even numbers in the given array where ordering doesn't matter. It could be in any order, it's just that, uh, that we need to segregate them, right? Now, how we can solve this question, right? So to solve this question, what we can do uh, that we'll take, uh, we'll take two variables. The one variable will be, so let me write here this array values again, two, four, one, six, three, eight, seven. So I will take two variable. One variable will be left, which will point to the starting index, which is zero. So this is zero index, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there will be another variable, which is right variable. Okay. So in, it means I have two variables. One is left variable and one is right variable. And these are my array. Now, if you see, at the starting, I want all the even values, right? So I will check that if this value is already even, in this case, I need not to do anything. I will just increase the left value, right? So you, you see here that here I am getting even number. It means anyhow, I know that at the starting, I will have all the even values. So it means then I will increase the left value. So the left value inc will increase to this one, right? So if I say at the starting, it was zero and at the starting, it was uh, six. Now, because uh, this was even, so I'll increase the left, it will increase to one. Now here again, I will check that whether this value is even. So yes, this value is even. It means I will increase the left. So now left will be at the second position. Now this left is old value, right? You can see here. So let me write a draw here. Above was the indexes and these are the values. So now you can see that uh, here, here we have this, uh, this is odd value now. So if this is odd value, it means this is the here we need to change the value. So I will stop here. And then uh, whenever I'm checking, I'm always checking whether the left is less than right, because if left, if left is greater than right, it means we are done with the, all the values, right? So my left is here. Now I'll move to the right section. In right, I will check that whether this value is odd or not. If this value is odd, it means that is fine, because anyhow, I have to put the uh, old values at the last. So it means I can move to the previous value. So now I will move to previous index, which is five. So my right will be here. Now this value is even, right? So if this is value is even and here this value is odd, it means can I swap the value now? So this is left, this is right. So here I can swap the value because this is not the right position of the left and this is not the right position for this, this index. So it means now I will swap the values to here to here. So what will happen now it will be two, four, and then eight will become here, six, three, then one will, will come here. And now I will increase the left. So now my left will be at third position and I will decrease the right. So my right will be at fourth position. It means my life, it means my left. So my left is at, at third position, zero, one, two, three, and my right is at fourth position, which is this one, right? Now again, I will check that whether this, uh, whether this value is even or not. So this value is even, it means this is fine. So I will increase the left. So I will increase the left, which is four. And now if you see 
that the left has now left is not less than right now left has become equal to right and so in this case whenever because we will do all this thing in while loop i will show you code don't worry about the code so here i am checking check whether left is greater than right and we are doing all this operation inside that now here we have got that left has become equals to right in this case it means we are done with all the values so now you can see that all the values are segregated now all the odd and even values are segregated here at the starting you have all the uh, even values and here you have all the odd values right so this is how you can segregate the odd and even number now this was a logic right and let me show you the code as well so that you also know that what we are doing uh, how we are doing via code so basically let me show you so you see here what i'm doing that this is my array right uh, this is my array and from here i'm calling the function sep separate the even and odd numbers where i'm passing this array now let's say if your array length is 0 let's say if your array is blank or if your array length is 1 in this case what you will separate you won't separate anything so in this case you can say just return this is negative case that you need not to do anything otherwise you will take two variable one is left one is right the left will be at the 0 and right value will be at the array dot length minus 1 right now I need to do this operation while left is less than right okay and now I will check that until until the left value is 0 until the left value is even so how can I check whether the value is even or not we can check that if the if it is remainder y2 is equal to 0 it means if this value is even so I need not to do anything I will just increase the left because the value is at correct position right because this is what we this is what we did here because 2 was already even number so 2 was already at correct position so in this case in this case we just increase the left and but this condition is important because every time we have to check that whether the left is less than right then only uh, we need to we need to go further or we need to evaluate right so in this case uh, first of all we'll check with the left similarly we'll check with the right as well that if at the right if it is already even if already odd value it means it means we need not to anything we'll just decrease the right number because the value which is at right is at correct position now after that once we are done then I will again check that if left is less than right if it is the case then I, it means I need to swap the values right so here I will so here I will swap the values with the left and right and after that I will increase the left and I will decrease the right okay and this is how we can swap the values so uh, like th this is the main code that we need to do right so this was about the code now what is the time complexity if you see so if you talk about the time complexity here that what we did we basically started from here right then we then we see so let's say if there are n element let's say total are n element so we started from here we moved to here similarly then we moved from the right we come here then we went here then we come here it means we need to traverse an element right so if there are n element I need to traverse the end and I, tra I need to traverse all the n element that's it to solve this question so it means my time complexity will be big of n now what will the space complexity so space complexity wise if you see we are just using two variables left and right and which is against constant variables so my space complexity will be big of 1 because I am not using any extra space so this will be my space complexity and time complexity right so yeah that's it about this video and if you have any doubts then please write in the comment section I will try to explain that and uh, uh, as well as I will also put the source code into description section so if you want then you can also get it from there so that's it guys and uh, if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you